Dan Larson here at the photo booth with some holiday cheer. Mrs. Toy Galaxy is big into Christmas and has a bit of a uh, Christmas-themed figure collection, which I'm going to feature here. Let me say in advance that I absolutely should have either had her on the show uh, to just talk about all this stuff herself or had her leave me uh, some comprehensive notes. I will do my best to talk about everything, but I am going to get some stuff wrong. Uh, and uh, real quick, before we get started with that, in the background, I grabbed some figures uh, from, from my collection that all felt kind of seasonal. Red, green, gold, chrome, winter clothes, ghosts, ice and snow people. Uh, up front uh, here is probably one of the most winter festival looking figures that I own. Uh, you know, I've got lots of uh, snow troopers and stuff, but Light Hope here from uh, Mattel's Masters of the Universe Classics just reeks king of the winter parade. Uh, it's the translucent, the, the ice sort of look. It's the gold. It's the decorative. It's the white cape and, and skirt thing here in front. It's just so festive. Uh, I love this figure so much uh, during the holiday season and and any other time. Uh, anyway, on, on, uh, on with the Christmas figures. All right, so this first batch of figures, these are uh, 2003 uh, Peanuts, obviously, Charles Schultz Peanuts figures. Uh, United Features Syndicate is the owner of the license, and then Playing Mantis was the manufacturer of this line of figures. Uh, there, uh, there are a lot more figures than this. Uh, in fact, there were definitely some Halloween-themed figures, which we definitely have some of those, but those are in a different video, a Halloween video. Uh, but there's just a lot more, like variations of the same figures and different color outfits and uh, different themed stuff. I, I don't remember exactly how many others there were. The only thing I really do remember about this is that this piano used to play music, uh, but I think at this point, I mean, since 2003, these things are 16 years old now. That battery has long since uh, died out. Uh, weird articulation on these things, like Snoopy, you can see here, can be in the seated position but you can also rotate his waist around uh, and then turn both of his feet around. And now he's in a standing position. Uh, oops, there we go. And he actually, there's actually some indents on top of the roof here that you're supposed to be able to, hey, look at that. It's the old Snoopy on the doghouse thing. Uh, like I know for sure that there was a version of this that had, uh, you know, the classic red Snoopy doghouse. Uh, I, I think there was even one that had all the, the Christmas lights and stuff on it as well. Um, did lots of little accessories. I don't know what you're supposed to do with Woodstock here. I don't know if he's... Could never get that dude to stand up. Anyway, that's those figures. Uh, on, on to the next batch here. All right, so I'm, I'm actually surprised that this worked out uh, the way it did. This is uh, one of those sets of toys that, if I had to guess, I would say it was really meant to not be opened. They came in a three-pack altogether. These are from uh, probably around the same time as the, the Peanuts figures. I couldn't find a date on any of them. Um, I'm guessing early, uh, early 2000s, pre-2010 for sure. Uh, the name of the company that produced them uh, is Disney. No, the name of the company that produced them is called Memory Lane. Uh, I don't think that has anything specifically to do with Disney. I think they were just the licensee for this particular line of figures based on Mickey's Christmas Carol. Um, each one of these figures comes with, so you got uh, Ghost of Christmas Past, Ghost of Christmas Present, Ghost of Christmas Future. Uh, and each one has at least an accessory here. The Ebenezer Scrooge uh, Tombstone, the, I can't remember what this is, Cooked pig ham thing uh and then jimmy cricket had the clock and he also came with a little badge uh the certified christmas ghost badge uh that's in a accessory bin somewhere uh, and this hat just does not stay on and his joints are super stuck and i don't want whoops i don't want to chance trying to move them he's just not going to stand up otherwise i don't want a chance trying to move them otherwise i'm afraid 
I will break that dude in half. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool set. Lots of cloth goods here. Uh, in fact, we we really haven't even done much with these since we opened them because we only display them like once a year. We put them in the box for the rest of the year. But like he's still got his plastic hat on his uh, head, keeping that wreath on there. Um, they, they've still got the, uh, the little plastic ties here that hold all this stuff in place. He, I think he still has. Yeah, he still has his. Look at this. It's not even rotated right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to force it without, uh, I'm afraid if I don't heat that up, the paint will be stuck uh, and that hand is just going to break right off. But he's got like his little uh, cigar butt in his hand. But it's cool, you know, the cloth robes and the the uh, actual uh, fabric cord here. Uh, it's a really nice set and we'll set it up with, you know, uh, these will all get their own sort of little spots in our Christmas display. And they'll just be little themed uh, sort of vignettes and whatever, and she'll put little trees and ornaments and stuff. And anyway, all right, on to, on to the next batch here. Yeah, so I just realized I'm going to have to do this in uh, probably two waves here. <laughs> uh, this is all, uh, again, early 2000s, 2002, 2003-ish. Uh, we've got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and other Island of Misfit toys. Other films are involved here as well. They're all the Rankin-Bass productions from the, like, 50s. Um, and actually, I, I didn't know this before I started shooting this video. Uh, these are all by Memory Lane as well. So same company that did the Peanut stuff did all these... Uh, Rudolph figures as well, and they're really nice. They, you know, they're they're as as far as like accuracy on screen likenesses, pretty darn close to what's actually in the film. They're all to scale. They all have uh, enough articulation. Some of them have light up effects. I have to say, I'm surprised that uh, still works. Um, and you know. The bumble in the back here, his fur looks good. It's, it's it's probably a little more yellow than it used to be, but these figures are getting old. Um, King Moonracer over here, I don't remember what this guy's name was, I think it's Sam or something. Um, and there's lots of different versions of, you know, uh, the various, so we got two different Santas here. I think there's a third one uh, in the box over here. Mrs. Claus, Hermie. All right, let me get the others in here. so much stuff in the frame now I can't even fit all these uh, Island of Misfit toys uh, accessory guys in here the squirt gun guy the boat guy I know they all had names but I, I like I said I, I should have gotten notes from Mrs. Toy Galaxy before I started rolling camera here and I can't even you know uh, actually some of these guys this guy I don't think is oh hey look at that I'm shocked I'm surprised uh, that those batteries actually work Ah, one's out and then this one actually had the uh, the little He's got his uh, cap on his nose here that you can take off to show the nose underneath, but that one's not working anymore either. But hey, I would say uh, pretty good uh, pretty good ratio there of stuff that worked to stuff that didn't work. Uh, this guy actually opens up and has the little mouse on the inside as well. It's really cool stuff. Uh, it's, it's really become a tradition for us uh, to put all this, to, to rotate through our holiday displays. We've got a bunch of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that we'll put out, and Jason and Freddy, and all those old McFarlane uh, horror figures, and some of the new NECA figures. We'll put those out for Halloween, and then for Christmas we'll rotate this stuff out. Um, we used to put some of it in the background of the videos, but it has gotten harder to keep up with that stuff. Uh, the, the way we, you know, have... Uh, amped up the production on our videos here. Uh, there's a couple other figures here. We've got... Oh, we got Yukon Cornelius with uh, man, his earmuffs. His earmuffs never stay on him here. Uh, and like, again, just like just like with the Disney figures, uh, some of the packaging on these, and I never keep anything in the package, but some of the packaging on these really held the figures together. Like, you know, rubber bands to keep the earmuffs on and to keep all his bits and his belts and stuff. Uh, he actually came with a dog sled that uh, had, you know, all these bags and stuff like piled up on it and they just don't stay 
without the actual like plastic shell and then it was like rubber banded down there was a whole diorama beautiful stuff you'll just have to take my word for it because uh, i put that stuff in the trash can 15 years ago something like that but uh this is it, it, this is all uh like i said mrs toy galaxy loves all the holiday stuff the christmas figures uh because it's such a big collection it, it makes it easy for me to you know pick one up every once in a while and add that to her stocking or something but uh my personal favorite other than light hope my personal favorite holiday figure has become uh, Gundam Wing Zero Custom from Endless Waltz, <laughs> which, uh, uh, again, it's become a holiday tradition for us. Uh, we, we end up, Mrs. Toy Galaxy ends up putting up at least three trees every year, uh, and they each have a theme. Uh, one has, like, vintage or antique ornaments on it, one sort of traditional Christmas kind of stuff, uh, and then one always ends up with uh, toys and toy-themed, you know, Disney kind of movie ornaments and those sorts of things. Uh, and on that particular tree, this Gundam uh, always gets to go, you know, wings spread up on top, full angelic uh, display to really top off that tree. And it's a fun thing, and we, uh, I'm just, it's, it's neat that all of this stuff has become part of our Christmas traditions as well. Uh, are being able to cycle through our collection, show this stuff off, uh, you know, to whoever comes over every year. But anyway, that's our that's part of our uh, holiday cheer that we're sharing with you. Hope you're having a good holiday uh, or it gets better. I don't know. Whatever. Thank you for watching this and all of our videos. Hit like, hit subscribe. Check out our Patreon if you're in the position to help the channel grow. Thanks again. Later. <laughs>